Well, hello, my name is Rosalind White, and I'm actually the executive director of the Tibetan Aid Project. And uh, one of our uh, sister organizations, Guna Foundation, had a fundraising event recently, and the Acupressure Institute donated uh, a gift certificate, and that's where I uh, heard about it. I'm also very interested in Tibetan healing, and I've been uh, studying that and, and teaching some of the uh, medicine Buddha practices that are involved with the Tibetan tradition. So I thought it'd be good to have this um, n additional knowledge because it also has some um, correlations with the Tibetan system. What we focused on was some of the um, um, major acupressure points that could bring quick relief. And um, one of them that I especially liked was the facial beauty one, uh, not only because it supposedly helps your uh, complexion looks better, but um, I actually have asthma, and so this also helps with um, the, um, the the sinuses, and so sometimes I get congested. And this also helps with uh, mental clarity, um, as well as uh, any kind of sinus issues you might have. And I felt, found that this one actually was very powerful for me. Another point that I've used uh, quite a bit from the book, um, Potent uh, Acupressure Points, is the um, Elegant Mansion, uh, because this is also good for breathing problems. And this is located right um, below the collarbone, and there's a little indentation here. And um, it's also known as um, a, ki a kidney point, a kidney 27. And the kidneys are related um, to, to breathing in that um, if your kidneys aren't strong, then, um, then your lungs uh, aren't able to uh, draw the, the energy or the power from the kidneys. So this does help with some breathing issues as well. I really enjoyed coming to the class for the first time. I think it's a very welcoming environment. Um, I was surprised by how much hands-on uh, work was involved with the classes, and I, it was a pleasant surprise. Um, you know, as, as well as having a little lecture, most of the time was spent practicing, um, taking turns first being a, um, a, a patient or a client or receiver of massage, and then a trading with that partner and uh, being the person to give the massage. So it was an excellent way to learn the um, the points and the techniques by first uh, trying to do them on someone else and then having them do them on yourself. So I think it's a, a great technique and um, I thought the school had a very uh, warm and welcoming and very nice quality to it so I would recommend other people to attend classes and I hope to attend more classes here as well.